We're adding a library to the mansion. I'm Sean the Shepherd, and this is Adventures in Minecrafting. Welcome back, everybody. Don't mind me, I'm just testing out these Soul Speed boots, or rather the new Soul Speed enhancement that, can you do it backwards? Nope, can't do it backwards. Uh, new Soul Speed enhancement that we get from the piglins up over there in our piglin bartering farm that we built last episode. Exciting stuff. Look at all these particles. Whee! Uh, so I thought I would take advantage of this enchantment and make a little. Oh, oh sorry. Oh, oh, we can't, oh, get, get back. To you. Okay. Thought we would take advantage of this enchantment and use it to get back and forth to our nether portal up here on the nether roof. You see, there you go. Oh, look at that. You see, it uh, takes a little while to get out here and the piglins gave me this enchantment and I thought, you know what? I'm never gonna use that. But, cause you know, how often are you gonna go sprinting through a soul sand valley? Like never, but I thought, see, we're already do, already do our hogland farm. Also added some braces so it wasn't just floating up in the air. And here we are out at our pig Lynn bartering farm and the way up to the gold farm. So I figured this would be a great way to get back and forth, actually give a use to these boots. It's a nice little enchantment. That's not what I wanted. It's a nice little enchantment. If you look here at the boots, uh, we've got soul speed two. Hopefully they'll give us a soul speed three at some point and we can upgrade that. But but none of this, none of this is the plan for today. Nope, nope, not the plan. Can't get up there. Oh, there we go. Okay, now this is the plan for the day. The plan for today is get out of the nether. We're going back to the base and we're gonna work on expanding the base because there's one thing, one thing that I realized we need. And that is, looking at this soul speed too, we need better armor. We just don't have much on this armor and we need good armor. And if we're going to get good armor, then you know what? We need to get those librarian village. Ooh, spooky. We need to get those librarian villagers up into the mansion, into their very own library. And we need to start getting those enchantments out of them, those enchanting books. So with that in mind, let's head back into the overworld and expand the base. And there you have it. Just like that, we have a structure, a building, in which to put our library and our librarian villagers. Now, this is just the base. I'm, I'm designing this on the fly. I haven't designed this in a creative tech, uh, creative test world. Uh, but what we did is we carried over some of the ideas from over here. We put down a ceiling and a floor. And, and by the way, this floor is not going to stay. These floors will be improved. Uh, but one of the things that we need in order to do that is carpet. And I have no carpet yet. So one of these uh, episodes coming up, we're going to have to build a sheep farm, wool farm. But that's not today. Today, we have built uh, this room right here. Oh, left some scaffolding. And I like it. Uh, one of the thoughts here, so we wanted to build this right off 
uh, through these hallways right off the main base area. And this is going to be a library. We're going to cover these walls. Everything that's not a window is going to be covered in bookshelves. And originally, I was planning on putting the librarian villagers uh, out here, just in little cells along the wall. But then I changed my mind. I decided if this is a library, it should be a fun place to read. And so uh, I wanted to let the light in. I wanted to open up these windows. I wanted us to be able uh, to see these gorgeous views. And so what I did is I moved these little uh, stations inwards. Now these are just holding spots. We're not necessarily gonna use uh, these blocks, but uh, the workbenches uh, will go right there. Uh, the little uh, the little pulpits will go right there. The little uh, book holders, whatever they're called. What are they called? Tell me in the comments. Okay, they're gonna go right here and the librarian, librarians will stand right here. And right in the middle, I'm thinking what I'm gonna do is I'm either gonna do a table or I'm gonna do a big pile of bookshelves that ends, oh, I don't know, about one, two, maybe three high. And then on top of that, we'll put a statue. You know how you go into a library uh, sometimes and they'll be right behind the, the desk. Uh, there'll be some sort of, of monument or example. Maybe I was thinking even possibly a tree growing up from the bottom up here since we have this, all this glass. Oh, gotta sleep, gotta sleep. Is it gonna let me sleep? Come on, let me sleep. Nope, sun's, sun's going down. It's getting dark, getting dark. Scary things, scary things gonna come out. Okay, let me sleep. There we go. Okay, you know how you go into a library and sometimes right there behind the main checkout desk, uh, there's something fun to look at. That's what I wanna do. I want something fun to look at in the middle of here. I'm also thinking, I'm not sure about these windows for one reason, and that is I am thinking about putting just a, a deck, a little walkway that runs around uh, the top. Maybe not on that side, but maybe along these three sides and another way to access books. So all of this, you're just I'm just giving you a view into the way I plan and the way I think about this. And so we didn't want uh, we didn't want the librarians on the outside, so I moved them in. And it's five by six, which gives us six, 12, 32. That gives us 32 librarians. I think I can do all the enchantments in 32 librarians. So let me get to work building this out, setting this up, and I'll bring you back when I have something. Are you ready to see it? Library is all done. In fact, I think we've got our first visitor. Let's go take a look. 
after we sleep. Gotta sleep. Sun's going down. Ah, monsters nearby. Where are the monsters? I don't know where the monsters are. Okay, let's find another bed. You're not a monster. I believe in you. There we go. Still, there are monsters nearby. I'm worried. <laughs> Something going to blow up on us. Monster? Monster? Okay, let's take a look. Let's take a look at the library. Hey, see? First visitor to the library. And here it is. Let's get up here. Oh, yeah. Let's get up here to take it all in. Complete with the ceiling. We've got some plants nicely placed around. We have all the booths for the librarian villagers. There are six on a side of each of these. And one of the things I really like about this is I kept them open so that when you're standing here, you can sort of see across. It doesn't block the view of the rest of the library. So there are six on each side. There are two of them. Uh, that gives us about 24 spots. Then I added a uh, spot here, spot here, two spots on each side there, and that should give us a total of 32. I don't know if I'll need 32 spots, uh, 32 librarians, but it's nice to know we have the room. And then we've got this whole wall of books over here. We've got some paintings up, and I put a little shelf up there, and I'm thinking as we get uh, different mementos throughout uh, throughout the episodes, we can toss those up there. That'd be a great place for the uh, for the dragon egg, for example. And we can get up there if we need to. We've got a little ladder going right up here. There you go. Look at that. And if you notice, we added in some looms to look like empty bookshelves, just to give it some variety, some space, so it wasn't just a solid wall of, uh, of bookshelves, which looks a little a little repetitive. Okay, now take a look at the windows. We've we've done a lot of changes with the windows. I went ahead and went with two sets of windows, one on the top, one on the bottom, some big uh, picture windows down here, and you'll notice they are all uh, square, and that's for a reason, because uh, before we had the, let's see if I have, no, I don't have it, uh, before we had the, uh, the stairs in the corners, well, we're gonna put those stairs back, but we're gonna put them on the outside. That way, this is a solid sheet of glass, similar to what we did up front here. Let me show you. Okay, these windows are not a good example, but these windows are. See, uh, these windows have character, um, but all it really is is just a square of glass behind that. And by doing it two or three thick, it gives it uh, character, it gives it depth. And let's, as long as we're out here, let's head down and let me show you what we've got here. Here is our wing from the outside. Yeah, yeah, doesn't look like much, does it? Looks nice. It's nice to see that wing going out from the main building, but now we need to do the outside. So let me get some materials together and I will be right back. So we added a few bits and bobs to the front of this wing of the mansion and let's have a look at it. There it is. Not too bad, not too shabby. I like it. I like the, uh, I like the look. Uh, started out doing it with a lot of the oak and it really looked too busy. And so we simplified it out. Uh, we opened up some windows on that lower level, nothing in the lower level yet, but we opened that up and I think we've got a nice looking wing there. In fact, if we head back here, you can see the view uh, complete with the roof. So here we go. Nice, nice view from out here. There you go. There we have, oh, There's the view from out here. Not too shabby, not too shabby. I'm looking forward to adding, now that we have the one wing, we're gonna have to add the other wing. But I think for the next episode, we're going to have to uh, get some villagers in there, right? I mean, we built the library. I think it's time to add some librarians. So that'll be next time because, well, 
That's about all the time we have for this episode. But hey, if you liked it, if you enjoyed, if you're enjoying these adventures in Minecrafting, then hey, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.